this output from our function generator is going to our RL circuit. We're going to use the square wave that it generates to measure the time constant of our circuit. The current comes from the red wire, follows this path through the inductor, through the resistor, and back to the black wire, which takes it back to the power supply. Of course, we have to measure electric potential. That's what the oscilloscope is for. Here you're seeing a graph of the electric potential across the resistor as a function of time. If we follow the leads back to our circuit board, we can see that the red wire is hooked up to one side of the resistor and the black wire is hooked up to the other side. In order to do this experiment, you're going to need to record some important information from the equipment. The first thing you'll need is from the function generator. Then we've got a couple of pieces of information that are important to record from the circuit board. And finally, we're going to hook up our leads across the inductor and put them into a DMM measuring resistance.